I need to move some of my documents and course information over and I want to import it into my Canvas course. Right now in my course documents area I basically have everything broken into three folders with units. How I'm going to do this is I'm actually going to download documents out of my course, save them to my desktop, organize them, rename anything that does have, uh, doesn't have a good descriptive name, and then upload these files back into my Canvas course. This is a great way for me to get in here and organize items and get rid of uh, things that I no longer need. And the best way to download your course files is to simply go over to the content collection, click on your course name, and select the files that you want to download. Right now I have some PowerPoint files, some Word documents, and some images. However, you'll notice that things like items aren't listed here. These are just documents that I've uploaded into my course. So in Unit 1 I have my uh, Word document for objectives and I also have my PowerPoint file if I take a look at course documents in Unit 1. In Unit 1 I have my Word document here but I also have what's called items and these items are just things I've built directly in Blackboard. These things won't be exported out of the content area but it will take my Word and PowerPoint files. Assignments I'll have to recreate later. But let's take a look at getting started with this and uh, what I'm going to do to try to get this copied over. A lot of these things I'm going to download um, and if everything that I've uploaded into Blackboard is going to live here. And so there are going to be items and information that I can remove and not use when I upload it into Canvas. There's a lot of redundancy and there's some outdated items. So the best idea for me is to download these items, download everything, carefully go through things, and decide what it is I want to keep and upload into Canvas. So at this point I'll just say download package. I'll take a look at these files and what I need to do is to organize these things into folders, get rid of documents that I'm not going to use, keep only the documents I am going to use in my Canvas course, and then I'll upload that into Canvas. I'll start by making some folders for my units. And I'll move things to the appropriate folders. I'll get rid of any items or folders that I won't be using. And I'll create a folder for these images. Now that I've gotten rid of all the documents and things that I'm not going to use and only have the items I am going to use in my course, I'm going to zip this package and upload it into Canvas. Inside my course that I want to put my files in, I'll take a look at the course menu. I'll go to Files and I'll upload my files into this course. So I'll find my zip file I want Canvas to expand it. I'll take a look at my files. And it looks like my files have uploaded into my course. And I can get rid of any unneeded files that may have came along. These files are now inside my course. and they're ready to be added to any content area. Let's take a look at how I can get some of these other materials quickly into my Canvas course. These are all Blackboard items, which is unique into Blackboard. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into Canvas and I'm going to create a module because all my content will be stored in module areas. I'll add a module. This one I'll call Getting Started. and I'll add a new page.
and I'll just call it course objectives. I'll click edit. And all the information in my course objectives, I'll just copy and paste into my Canvas course. Go back into my modules. I'll add another page here. for my discussion board etiquette. And I'll do the same thing by just simply copying and pasting this information from the item into the page that I created in Canvas. I'll save this. Go back and take a look at my modules. And I think I'll go ahead and publish these and make them visible. I'll also add a module for each one of my units. And inside this unit, I can add the files that I've already uploaded. So I'll make sure I'm in files and I'll look for my unit one files. And I can continue building my course by adding my modules and adding files or pages to my module units.